Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a unboxing and a review of my MPOW StreamBot Touch. This is a Bluetooth receiver that as you can see has a battery in it that lasts for 18 hours and also, that's 18 hours of use, it works within 33 feet of distance from the device that you're playing through Bluetooth to the StreamBot Touch. It also uses Bluetooth 4.1. That's what allows it to have this amazing uh, playtime and also I believe the standby time is around 130 hours so you can charge this, take it camping with you, take it to the beach with you, you don't have to worry about it, you can use it all day really most of the weekend listening to music. So let's go ahead and open it up take a closer look I like the simple packaging you know it's so much easier to open it just came in this box inside of a little mail package so the first thing you see, the size is really incredible. Let's measure it before we get into everything else. So it looks like about two inches wide. Excuse me, about two inches wide. The thickness is less than an inch, about three fourths of an inch, and it's circular, so it's going to be about two inches all the way around. Now, the top of it does have a nice logo and then these little lights. I believe the whole thing are lights. We'll see once I turn it on. I think this is a button. We're going to play with it later and find out. On the bottom it has 3.5 millimeter head jet, headphone jack out and then also micro USB. And That's going to power it. So you have the power and then the output of audio. And that's really it. It has a nice rubber bottom on it. That's going to make it so you can easily, ooh, looks like I turned it on. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. So you can easily, it's kind of stuck there. That is really cool. I was a little worried about it when I saw it online before getting it, that it would just kind of move around too easy and I wouldn't be able to use it in my car because I would like to have something cool in my car, and especially with that blinking light. I think that would be awesome. So let's get into the rest of the package. All right, looks like we have that's going to be a female 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to RCA audio out. We have USB to micro USB. That will be for powering it. And then we have male to male 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So let's test. I want to see the quality of this headphone jack plug. It feels really good. Really secure. It's not loose at all. That's a good build right there. Let's see the, head, the micro USB. Sometimes you get these and they're already kind of loose and that sucks. Wow, it's really tight. That's awesome. No movement at all and it actually is really tight getting in there. Okay, so now we've kind of taken a first close look at it. I'm going to demonstrate it and use it on my home stereo. Hey guys, so I was going to bring this over to the stereo and do all the syncing and everything there, pairing but I figured I can get a better view here. So first I want to show you how to turn it on. I looked at the directions. This is really cool. So it's almost like a touchpad on the laptop. It's not an actual physical button. You just kind of hold it down and tap it. Hold it for three seconds. That'll start blinking and then the light starts spinning. And we should see it come up on my tablet. There it is. So that was like within seconds. Now I'm just going to hit to, ta to uh, pair with that and we're connected and as you can see it stopped spinning signifying that it yes it connected we're good to go now I can connect this to my stereo and we'll be able to play music through it so I'm over here at my stereo I have the cable that was provided plugged into the back of my Vizio soundbar I'm gonna plug that into the MPAL as you can see the center light is on over in the logo but the lights are not blinking on the outside that means that it is connected my tablet also shows that it's connected, so now we'll play some music and see how it sounds. So I have some Creative Commons music pulled up on YouTube.
turn it down on my phone or on my tablet. Controls work great. This is from a channel called Global Sound Promotion. Lots of free music. So it sounds great. The size is really small. This is a great little device. I like it. Okay, so probably one of the overlooked features of this device, which I think is worth noting and pretty awesome, is you can have it paired to two devices at the same time. So currently I have it paired to my tablet. I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth on my tablet. Boom, it recognized that. Now I'm going to find it on my phone. Search for device. There we go, it found it. I'm going to pair. And what's cool about this is that it's not just that you can pair two devices, but you can play music from two devices. Alright, so I have both devices paired. I'm going to play music on one. That's from my cell phone. My tablet is currently pa or paused. I'm going to pause my cell phone, press play on my tablet. It takes it a second, but it goes right over. I have two devices paired to this, and I can control music. So we'll go ahead and press play on this. That is awesome. The first thing I noticed was obviously the size. I'm extremely amazed by how small it is and still has the battery capacity to work for 18 hours without having to be charged. And the standby time is around 130 hours. I also like that you can pair two devices at once and seamlessly switch which is playing controlling the music just by pressing pause on one device and play on the other. That is, I've never actually seen that on any uh, Bluetooth device I've ever used. I like that it comes with the three different accessory items for it. RCA, USB, and then the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. For the less than $20 price range, I would highly recommend this to anybody who needs a Bluetooth receiver. And with the rubber on the bottom, I think it would be useful in a car as well. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And please rate and subscribe for more great tech reviews and also just tech tips. Thank you.